Hello, it's Richard here with tonight's story called Peace at Last. The hour was late. Mr. Bear was tired, Mrs. Bear was tired, and Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. <sighs> Mrs. Bear fell asleep, Mr. Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore. I can't stand this, said Mr. Bear. So he went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear wasn't asleep either. He was laying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock, tick tock. went the living room clock. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip, went the leaky kitchen tap. refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in a garden at night. <coughs> Went the 
the owl. Went the hedgehogs. Sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr. Bear was so tired he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the window. <coughs> tweet, tweet went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs. Bear had turned over and she wasn't snoring anymore. Mr. Bear got into bed. closed his eyes. Ah, peace at last, he said to himself. <laughs> Went the alarm clock. Mrs. Burr sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? <sighs> Not very well, dear, yawned Mr. Bear. Never mind, said Mrs. Burr. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did.